I'm Sahar Francis, a human rights lawyer and the director of Aldamir Prisoner Support and Human Rights Association. Currently, we are in our office in Aldamir in Ramallah occupied territories. My name is Matt Meyer, and I'm a representative of the War Resisters International and the co chair of the campaign to free Russell Maroon Schultz. It's a great honor to be here uh, with Sahar in Ramallah uh, and with Ademir as we think today, July 4th, 2013, about how back at home many in the U.S. are celebrating independence and recognizing that those people who took up arms for independence for the United States back in 1776, many of them also did time in jail and were, in fact, political prisoners. We also recognize today, as President Barack Obama just came back from South Africa with prayers for Nelson Mandela as the world prays for his continued health, that Mandela is in fact the world's most well-known and most famous political prisoner. A man who stayed in jail for 27 years because he refused to say that his movement for freedom would give up the armed struggle against apartheid South Africa. We're here because we recognize that the issues of human liberation, human rights and justice, and the issues of political prisoners everywhere are linked. So we take this special day to call for freedom of all political prisoners everywhere. Definitely we should call for the freedom of the 5,000 Palestinian political prisoners that they are still remaining in the Israeli prisons currently. These prisoners that they were fighting and struggling for their liberation, for their people's liberation and self-determination for decades now. Israel arrested hundreds of thousands of Palestinians over these years of the occupation. Currently these 5,000 Palestinian political prisoners are waiting for their freedom and their dignity with their uh, people. So I think it's very important to be aware that uh, the solidarity of the political movements everywhere in the world should demand the release of all political prisoners everywhere, especially the political prisoners in the U.S. like Maroney that he's still in isolation for more than 22 years. I think this is purely torture and uh, uh, degrading treatment that this person is uh, facing for long, long period that should be ending immediately because if it's not today, it will be uh, threatening his life. And not just thinking about Maroni, thousands of political prisoners were isolated and treated and tortured and ill-treated in every prison in the world, and we demand their release all. So please release all political prisoners everywhere. We recognize that in the US, as in Palestine, there are many political prisoners, children in fact in Palestine, who are in jail for nothing more than speaking up for human rights, speaking up for justice. And in the US we have many of decades long imprisonment, people like Native American activist Leonard Peltier, like Mumia Abu Jamal or Sekou Odinga, like Oscar Lopez Rivera of the Puerto Rican movement who was accused of and convicted of nothing more than seditious conspiracy. But we do call attention now to Russell Maroon Schultz. We learned just a few days ago that he's been told that he could get released after his 30 years of solitary confinement, 22 of them consecutively, which is far, far more than the minimum number considered by the United Nations as complete torture, but that he may in fact finally be open for release from solitary confinement and that the papers are on the desk of Secretary Wexel of the Pennsylvania Department of Corrections. So we take this moment to spotlight Maroon and say the time is now for everyone to call on Secretary Wexel to do the right thing to release Maroon from solitary confinement and to free all political prisoners everywhere. Release Maroon from solitary confinement and free all political prisoners everywhere.